YouTube, Gabby here with Endress Analytics. Welcome to this week's tutorial. For uh, this week, I am going to do a follow-on uh, to the uh, tutorial I did last week where I did the Adobe Analytics mobile reporting. And this week, I am going to do uh, the same thing in Google Analytics. Um, to find the mobile reports, they um, are under audience over here on the uh, left hand side and then under mobile and there are two uh, types of reports overview and devices We're currently looking at the overview report um, One of the things you'll notice um, if we're going to do any kind of comparison between Adobe and Google is the fact that there are fewer um, Specific kinds of reports um, under mobile to run But you can always create custom reports under customization and I will um, create some custom reports um, in a future tutorial but just uh, from the uh, the basics over here, so we have the overview report um, broken out by device category. So it actually shows you um, how much traffic um, in the time period. And I, I just chose basically year to date um, for uh, desktop. So this is basically any computer, um, desktop or laptop actually. Um, mobile would be your phones and tablets, of course, as self-explanatory as tablets. And so this is the current breakout um, for uh, mobile traffic for my site uh, year to date. Um, and then one of the things I will make a note of is that they changed visits to sessions. So that is a new um, terminology here in Google Analytics. And here you can actually see, um, if you mouse over the question mark, it'll give you a little bit more information and you can read it at your uh, leisure. Um, besides that, you have the percent of sessions, new users, bounce rate, um, pages per session, um, average session duration, um, and then here if I have any kind of goals and things. And my, um, my goals right now are fairly simple. It's basically how many people um, complete uh, the contact us form. <laughs> and so far, I've, I think I've had like one contact form completion this year so far to date. Um, or, well, it says, it says I had three, but only 23% of all the people who visited the Contact Us page. Um, and they're all from the desktop. No one tried to contact me through mobile, which is fine. Um, so basically, that's the, uh, that's the overview report. And then we go under Devices. And this gives us a little bit more detail in terms of specific devices um, that were used to visit my site, specifically mobile devices. So obviously it doesn't tell me uh, what kind of desktops and laptops were visiting my site because um, Google Analytics just does not capture that information. I don't think that they even can um, versus uh, with the mobile devices that do transmit the, their type of device um, whenever they visit um, sites and things like that. Um, and then one of the nice features I do like with Google Analytics is you see this little camera here If you click on it, it actually gives you a photo it pulls up It does a Google image search and then the the, the top three most popular images for that particular device um, are displayed here in a little um, window so you can actually take a look and see exactly what devices are visiting your site um, and have a, a, a nice idea of that and I believe you can yep you can click on them and zoom in as well so let's close that um, so yeah so that's a nice little feature again same uh, basic layout in terms of data and things like that um, of course like with any report you can add secondary dimensions you can sort by uh, type um, and then here for mobile device info and then you have mobile device branding uh, you can dig into that um, so rather than having like with Google Analytics sorry um, rather than having things like with Adobe Analytics where you have a, a lot of reports over in the navigation here you actually dig into the data once you get into the report and then over here across the top is how you get to the various different um, types of reports so besides the device info you've got the device branding so basically the brand name um, Apple, Samsung, LG, etc. Um, service provider, so you can see Comcast, AT&T, Google, etc. for the actual service provider. Um, input selector, um, it's either touch screen or not set right now. Um, so I guess they're, they're prepared to track things if there's any other types of input in the future. Um, operating system, so obviously iOS, Android, Windows Phone, um, or not set. Um, and then there's other and then there's screen resolutions. You can actually look at what screen resolutions the mobile devices had when visiting your site. 
So, uh, and then under overview, uh, overview does not really have um, a breakdown um, like that in terms of um, primary dimensions um, as much as, uh, as devices. Devices actually have a lot of other um, primary dimensions to look at. So um, that basically is the overview of looking at the mobile uh, reporting within Google Analytics, the default one. And uh, let me know in the comments below um, if you would like to see the custom, doing custom reports and uh, perhaps the kind of custom reports you might want to see, um, questions you might want to have answered that could be best um, explained through a custom report. If anyone has a question like that, I would love to hear comments below. Um, so until next week, please, if you um, find the, are finding these tutorials helpful, please like the videos. Um, I would appreciate anyone who shares my videos as well as um, if you uh, haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, I try and post a new video every Wednesday. I can't promise a specific time on Wednesdays, but I do try to get them up before midnight on Wednesdays. And then um, I think that's uh, basically everything, everything for this week. Until next week, take care. Bye-bye.